today I'm doing my May wrap up. May was a crazy month for me and I still managed to read a lot, which is great and I hope to read a lot in the month of June. So let's get started. I'd love to see all the books you guys read last month and the books you plan to read this month. So let's get started. The first book I read was The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alex Hoffman. I really enjoyed this book. It was great and it was interesting and entertaining and I've been wanting to read this book for a while. This is my second, I believe, Alice Hoffman book, and I'm sorry to read more of her books. She's such a great writer. I like the historicalness she brings, and her creativity is just great, and I really enjoy this. This book was a little bit weird. Not, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit weirder, but I still really enjoyed it. The next book I read was The Instrument Trial by Deborah Lip E. Lipstadt. I really enjoyed this book, too. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Next book I read was Suitcase with Suit Frankincense by Irene Nemirovsky. I really enjoyed this book. This was about people during World War II, 1940, and Paris during the Nazi occupation, and about their relationships. And this is very interesting and entertaining. I really enjoyed it. I need to read the movie soon. I mean, watch the movie soon. <laughs> Next, I read The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Vine. I really enjoyed this book. It's not what I was expecting, but I still give it about a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I, I did enjoy it, it just I was, it was not what I was expecting, so it kind of caught me off guard. Next book I read was The Slow Regard, the Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. I really enjoyed this short story, however, I'm sad to find out that he has not written the the actual third book yet in this King Killer series. And I was really excited to read the next one, so I'll reread the first two books before that comes out. Hopefully it'll come out soon because I really enjoy his books and he's a great storyteller and I just he does such a great job. I want to read more of his books. And the next book and the last book I read, I mean the second to last book I read is Wonder by RG Passio, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I loved this story. It was a middle grade story, and when I read middle grade books, it can be kind of harder for me to enjoy them. This was, however, a really quick read for me. I really enjoyed it. I loved the movie, and I loved the book, and because they're so similar in a lot of places, it was word for word. And I just love it when it does that. It's just so amazing to see because lots of times books and movie adaptations do not do that, and I really enjoy this book. I also read a short story I got from Page Hat. As you guys know, I'm getting Page Hat boxes, and I read *The Immaculate Obsession* by John Atha by Great John Tree. This is a great little short story. I really enjoyed it. I want to read. It says issue 21, so I want to find out if there's more of this story because I really want to find out what happens next. And the last book I read for the month of June was *Eva Braun: Life with Hitler*. I really enjoyed this book too. I should have read it a little faster. It was very educational and interesting to read. I it was I was expecting to get a little bit more information about it, more information about Eva and her family and her life. And it, it did give a picture of her life, but I was just kind of expecting a little bit more for, from this book. I, if you guys have read any of these books, I'd love to see your comments down below. I hope you like this video. Please be sure to give this a video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Goodbye.